Okay, so what the guys are doing here is they're tying these rigging bars to the outside of the cage, and with these slings, we run those slings through the body of that cage, and then that's connected up to the crane. What that does, what that does is that applies pressure to that crane, so it chokes, it chokes that cage, so those two rigging bars that we tie on the outside, it chokes up against the, the ties on the cage and pre, pre, uh, produces tension. Now that tension is what enables us to lift these cages up into the air safely. So we're now lifting the cages and you can see we tied those rigging bars to that cage and the cables on the crane apply pressure to those bars. Those bars choke that cage and create the tension necessary to lift that up into the air. Hey Joe, move on back. Move on back for right now. So as you can see, we're now lifting this cage. We've tied those rigging bars in place. Yeah, if that falls, you want to be behind this uh, excavator. Just stay, he's fine. No, you don't want to put it? No, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. It ain't, it's not going to swing. Yeah. That's good. Can't get. Now, next time we want to make sure they tie equals equal sides. Okay, guys, so the cage is in the air. You can see it's a few feet off the ground now. Now, these cages weigh a little over two tons. There are 20 number 10 bars inside of these rings. These are also called ties. You're going to see we're now moving it into location. So in order to keep these cages away from the soil, we have to have a minimum three inch clearance of concrete that surrounds these cages. So we use wheels that we, as we start to lower this pile or this cage into the ground, we snap wheels onto the rebar so it keeps even spacing around the cage. I'm gonna walk over and show you what this looks like. As we lower that cage in, we snap these wheels onto the cage. Let me flip this around and show you. You guys have the wheels? Oh, yeah. So these ties here, so on these ties, this is where we clamp the wheels on. And you can see now, we're starting to enter the shaft. So we'll set wheels onto these ties every so many feet so we can keep our clearance around that pile so we don't jeopardize the structural integrity of the concrete. Okay. So 
So you can see these are the wheels here. These clamp onto the rebar and this enables that cage to go down this shaft evenly. So this moves pretty quickly. As you can see, we've already dropped it halfway. Now this here is our longest cage today, and this one here is almost 50 feet. Now we've already calculated the depth. You can see our survey markers giving us our elevations, and we've already set this to the proper depth. So we've tied this cage with dowels that are coming up that will be bent in the future once we build and construct our grade beam. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the cages. So we've got three more of these to do today, but you've kind of seen the entire process now and how this, how this takes place. Once we set this in place, we'll suspend this using the hillside to brace it in place. And then we're gonna continue this. So continue to check in with us. Uh, you'll be able to see the entire process and how these are set, how we pour concrete on these, and how we start to excavate the basement. So thanks for watching.